Hi, I'm Greg Downing with Naturescapes.net, and today we have some brand new Gitzo tripods. These are the latest 2012 models that just came out, and Naturescapes is actually the first store to carry all the models that Gitzo has come out with. Um, from right to left, we have the two series. This is the 2542 LS. We have the 3542 LS, so it's a little bit beefier leg than the two series. And then we get a little beefier with the 4542 LS. So it's the 4 series, which is a new series for Gitzo. We also have all the way down on the left a 5 series tripod, uh, which is beefier yet. Now, starting with the 2 series here, one of the differences between this and the previous model is that it now does not have a center column. The previous 2 series models always had a center column and a ground level set that you could use without the center column, but the difference now is it comes with a regular flat plate, just like the other uh, systematic models. So it's a great model for lenses, even up to 500 millimeters in a pinch, especially if you're a shorter person. I'm 5'9", um, so by the time you put a head and a camera on here, it's, it's just about the right height for me without bending over. And it would support a 500, but it's probably a little bit overkill for it. Uh, but it would be perfect for maybe a 300 2.8 or even a 200 to 400 Nikon, something in that range. Great also for as a landscape tripod, very lightweight. Uh, you can look at the specs online, but I think it's just a little over three pounds. Now, the most popular tripods for wildlife photographers shooting big lenses has always been uh, the Gitzo 3 series and even some people up to the 5 series for the biggest lenses. This is the 3542 LS and the upgrades that they've made on all these tripods are a couple of things. Number one, the casting on top has been completely redesigned and strengthened. Um, the mounts where the legs mount to the uh, rotating castings those castings are much beefier than they used to be. The little pull-out adjustment for the leg angle is also a little bit beefier, easier to use with gloves. But one of the great things now that Gitzo has, has upgraded in these tripods is this top plate and the way that it attaches. You actually have a button release now. This plate can just be pulled right out by the push of a button. And this is a little latching mechanism. And there's a groove in this plate where it will lock into that latch. So when I put it down in there, it can't come out anymore. We have the ability to snug it up and make it tight with this ratcheting system over here on the side. Whereas before, you used to have to have a wrench and check this bolt to, for tightness every time you went out in the field. Now you have the ability to tighten it with this easy no tool ratcheting system. And it will not come loose by itself because it is a ratcheting system, you need to actually engage it in order to tighten it. So that's a great new feature. Um, one of the neat things too about this removable plate and the way that it snaps in is now you can buy a, a couple of these plates and put a different head on each one and then quickly switch your heads in and out just by popping a different plate on. Um, the leg sections are Still the G-Lock design, which came out in 2008. Very quick action, quarter turn to loosen and tighten the legs. You can fold them up very quickly. And with this tripod, which is a one, two, three, four section tripod, which means that each leg has four sections, uh, I could actually loosen all four sections with one hand by grabbing, you know, when it's in the closed position, by grabbing the, uh, the leg locks, and then just pulling all the legs out. Then I can go back in a quick quarter turn, and I've tightened all three. So it's very quick to set up, very smooth, and the design of the G-Lock system actually works in such a way where when you do that little quarter turn tightening, the more pressure that's down on the tripod by gravity, the tighter that connection gets. So it actually increases stability between one leg and the next, the more weight you put on the tripod. So I'm gonna set this one aside, great tripod, probably the one that I'm going to end up uh, staying with for my lenses up to 600 millimeters. New to the Gitzos line these days now is a four series, which is a little bit beefier. This 
upper leg section is uh, about an inch and a half in diameter, whereas this one is about an inch and a quarter in diameter on the three series. The two series is slightly over an inch and the five series is about an inch and three quarters. So this upper leg section just gives you a little bit extra stability. You notice you get a little extra height out of it too uh, versus the three series. The top plate is actually the exact same size and configuration as the 3 Series on the new 4 Series, but everything else has been beefed up a little bit. The legs, the actual connection to the top part, etc. So this is a good option if you want ultimate stability for lenses up to 600, even 800 millimeters. Um, it's a little stiffer than the 3 Series. It's also slightly heavier, so this I think comes in at about five pounds, whereas the three series is just a little over four pounds, so it's a little bit heavier. Um, so set that aside, and we have an interesting model here, which is the, it's a five series, but this is a Traveler five series. It's the GT5562 LTS. Um, and you'll notice that it actually has one, two, three, four, five, six leg sections on each leg. So that's quite a lot of sections. And when it folds up, it folds up very, very small and short. So you can see it pack away nicely. It's only, I don't know, maybe that's 20 inches long or something. You can look up all the specs of these tripods online on naturescapes.net. Just click on the Gitzo manufacturer page. And then if you click on each tripod, you'll be able to look at the de detail specifications, the weight, the capacity, the height, etc. So uh, that's a quick overview of the Gitzo tripods. And feel free to call us anytime at the Naturescape store if you have additional questions or write us at retail at naturescapes.net. And we'd love to help you out.